Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to create custom world icons for both Minecraft Java Edition and Minecraft Bedrock Edition. And so if you like Minecraft tutorials like this one, please consider leave a like and subscribe to the channel so don't miss any future tutorials or other Minecraft news. So I'll start off with showing how to do this in Java Edition and show it off how to do it in Bedrock Edition afterwards. If you want to know how to do it for Bedrock Edition, just skip to the time you see on screen right now to watch the better condition part of the video so we'll get started with java edition i'm currently in the most recent snapshot this will work for older versions as well so if we go into single player you will see that yes i have a very ugly custom icon over here i just threw this together to show you that it actually works and so there are two ways to make this work so what you need to do first if your world already has an icon like most of these have over here there's one over here that doesn't have an icon but most of them will have an icon. So you need to click on it, go to edit down here, and then there's this button up here, reset icon. So in this way, you can create a new icon. So this is only needed if you do it the first way. And this is with just using the game itself and not going into the files actually. So you can reset the icon like this and then save. And now as you can see, the icon is gone. Now if we load into this world, we will load in, there we go. And now this screenshot is what the icon is going to look like. So what you need to do is first build or create the world icon you want and then look at it, log out, reset the icon and log back in like this. Now we can log back out, save and quit. There we go, now we see the icon has changed over here to what we had before. So we'll only take a square version of the screen you're looking at so if you're putting stuff at the sides of your screen it won't show up in the icon so this is a very difficult way of doing this and i've done this before so for example i did it for my map 10 ways to escape a room i built this room with a 10 in it and then looked at it went out of the world reset the icon go back into the world look at the 10 and then go out again and that's how to get these sorts of world icons but there's also a far easier way to do this and that's by going into the files. And so where you want to go is this over here. Now if you don't know how to get to your Minecraft world files just click up here like this so you see this blue highlighted section. Type in percent app data percent like this. You'll go to Minecraft the top one and then over to saves down here. And then you'll see all the world saves you have. Currently have 606 in here, which is a lot, but okay. We'll go into the world we just were in, like this. And then over here you'll see the icon. Let's click on it, we will actually see, there we go, the icon the world has at the moment. And we can add our own icon we want over here. So what you need to do is create a file, a PNG file, and name it icon. It has to be 64 by 64 pixels wide, as you can see that's also what this is. And so the easiest way I found of doing this is just by using paint. So here's the one you saw before. And what you need to do is go up here and change the format. Of course it's all in Dutch but it will be the same for you. And then go over to pixels and set it to 64 by 64. This is the very easy to immediately get a canvas. Of course you can use Photoshop or any other software as well. And now you can create your own custom logo over here. So I'll try to recreate my profile picture. Let's see if I can actually do that. Don't think I can but I'll try my best. Okay, well there we go. I'm definitely not an artist myself, so it's not amazing, but we can save it. So just click save up here, and there we go. And now if we go back into Minecraft, click single player, and yes, we see our abomination right there. So that's awesome, that's how to create your own custom world icons in Java Edition. And so this icon will stay here forever in Java Edition. Sadly, that's not the same for Better Edition, but we'll get into that in a second. And so of course, once again, if you would want to remove it again as well, then click edit and reset icon over here. But there we go. Now let's move over to better condition to show you how to do it over there. Okay, here we are in better condition, actually in the beta, but that once again won't matter. Also works in previous versions. So in better condition, it works a bit different because every time you go into a world, the world icon actually changes. But if you want to have a world icon for, for example, a map you're working on or something like that, and you want the player who downloaded the map to see your world icon once they get it, you can change it. 
But once you would go into the world again, it would be different once again. So I'll show you how to do it at least. So if you go into a world, here we go, we're in the world. And we will see that the world icon that appears on the menu is the last screen you see before you log out. So let's go, for example, over here inside this woodland mansion. And let's look over here, press F1. And now if we go to escape and if we save and quit like this, then we will see that the last screen we just saw is actually the picture of the world. So that's how to get a picture of the world on here. But you can also get a random picture on here as well. And once again, we'll have to go into the files for that one. Okay, here we go. Here we are in the world file of the world we just in and it's a little bit more difficult to get to this one because well minecraft windows 10 edition just has a very difficult way of getting to the world so what you need to do is once again go over to percent app data percent like this this time click up here on app data like this go to local and then over to packages down here then we go to microsoft.minecraft uwp blah 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 there we go then over to local state games and click this file as well and then into minecraft worlds now for some reason the names of these are complete gibberish so you probably need to look at the date it was changed on and so the most recent one is right over here so this will be the world we just used so click on that one and then right here we see world icon which is the icon we just made so if you click it we will see that it's actually the woodland mansion we were just in and so the dimensions of this one are 400 by 225 pixels so that's actually much more than the java edition version so let's change the pixels in paint there we go 400 by 225 and now we can well create over here whatever we want let's do a beautiful uh, classic paint drawing i'm definitely no bob ross so please excuse my awful uh, drawing here also keep in mind, I am using uh, just a mouse to do this, so it will definitely not look any good. Well, there we go. That works, I guess. Let's save it. And now, if we go back over here and put this in here, so just name it test. So we remove the old one, the old image file, and we rename this one to world icon, like this. And now, if we go back into better condition, let's see. Oh, I feel like I've messed something up. That's a beautiful uh, missing texture. I think I needed to make it JPEG instead of PNG. Here we go, this time I have a JPEG file. Let's try this again. Okay, I think it should be world underscore icon. There we go. Okay, so I found out that it has to be a JPEG file and so JPG doesn't work. So we have to convert it over to JPEG file. Very strange how it works, but you have to have a JPEG file named world icon with the underscore and with 400 by 225 pixels. Now if we go back into Minecraft Better Condition and click on play, you will see that yes, our beautiful masterly art piece it has been displayed right here as the world icon. So now if it's a map you want to publish or something like that, you can publish it right like this and the player that gets the map will see this beautiful picture right here once they load up their map in their game. Now of course the picture will disappear if you play on it and let's see that now real quick as well so we have a beautiful masterpiece right there we play the world and after this it will be gone of course you can put it back in there but you'll have to do that every single time for it to show up so would it be a bit too much work i guess so we go Ooh, there's a beautiful vindicator you can be my new world file icon yes okay i'll get to this guy no they don't want to okay there we go, I think I got him in there. As I said, it's always the latest screen you see on your world. And there we go, now our beautiful masterpiece has been destroyed by this new world icon. And so there we go, that's how to create or get a custom world icon on Minecraft Java Edition and on Minecraft Bedrock Edition. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Minecraft videos like this one. I want to thank my tier 3 members, Zobot and the Smikalar. Thank you so much for becoming a tier 3 member. And so there we go, I hope to see you in the next videos. Until then, bye bye! <laughs>